Welcome back to the Jambi show. Jambi is on vacation, so I'm taking over for an episode. I think it was about six months ago or so, I was talking about how everything on the left seems Hollywood. You know, it all seems fake. Whenever a new name pops up, whenever a new face pops up that seems to be taking the internet by storm, it never seems like an organic person rising through the ranks, you know, building an audience because they're genuine human beings that are connecting with their audience. No, it's always a a studio constructed individual, a talking head that just comes out of nowhere, whether it's the actual talking heads in the media or celebrity talking heads who are paid to essentially get Joe Biden elected. Or these days, the up and coming TikTok celebrities and social media influencers. Every pro-Biden influencer is never actually a real human being. No, they're all actors. And of course, you guys know I wouldn't be saying this without the receipts. Well, thanks to some incredible work by an independent investigative journalist who goes by the name of Sarah Fields, we now have some very interesting insight into the world of fake paid-for Democrat shills, or Joe Biden shills. We're talking about Harry Sisson once again. He has been completely and utterly exposed at this point. Let me show you guys exactly what I mean. What the Republican Party doesn't understand about Gen Z is we don't like you. And Gen Z is watching the Republican Party extremely closely as they destroy our environment, take rights away from women, do nothing about kids being shot in schools. And if they think they can give the middle finger to our generation and get away with it, they're sorely mistaken you know the guy who's got that whole shtick that gen z is coming for the republicans gen z is gonna get joe biden elected in initially months ago he was exposed as possibly being a paid dnc shill as you can see on his social media company he's represented by a talent agency by the name of palette management it was then exposed that palette management had received hundreds of thousands of dollars from the dnc And of course, these are the two clowns, Harry Sisson and his friend. I don't know, I forgot his name. Not even relevant. These two guys are obviously the ones getting paid those DNC bucks. I mean, you can tell the DNC is getting exactly what they paid for. This is fantastic. President Biden teamed up with Bernie Sanders to slam Donald Trump in a new video. He gave a huge tax cut out to the top 1%. Whereas during Biden's presidency, he has protected all of these social programs and more, make them pay their fair share with President Biden. I'm going to go with Joe Biden. President Biden trusts women to make choices that are best for them, their bodies, and their families in consultation with their doctor, not in consultation with a Republican politician. To be honest, like, it's it's actually really hard in this space, right? Like, we have, like, 45 seconds to record a video keeping right. people's attention. And a lot of the people on our side, like, if they start hearing, like, I've actually done it before. I've, I've criticized, like, a Democrats, like, specifically Hakeem Jeffries, and... It, it all just went south. Like, I started losing followers. Like, it's bad, right? And I really want to be that person that, like, reaches the other side because Democrats, I mean, they're horrible at their jobs, right? They do a lot of sh- shitty things, although it, I'll vote for them all the time. Um, but it, it's also hard in the space to criticize That's a them. good – can we clip yeah. that quote? They're horrible at their don't. jobs. Please, they do God, please, please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't clip that. Please, no, no. So I'm really happy for Harry that he got to do an interview with the governor of Pennsylvania. But, Harry, were you aware that all of your text messages, emails, and other communications with government officials is part of the public record and therefore subject to a freedom of information request? Surprise, surprise. But don't worry, Harry, I haven't submitted any of those requests. However, your favorite investigative journalist did. I just want to be clear real quick that none of this is my research and all credit goes to Sarah is censored. That's her on X. And you can also follow her on TikTok at Sarah for Texas. So Harry's been posting videos like this where he says, I asked Governor Shapiro of Pennsylvania how he'll respond if Trump tries to overturn the election results. You know, basically pretending that that was a question he wanted to ask. However, the text messages that Sarah was able to get tell a different story. Hold up. Wait a minute. See, this is Harry's conversation with Gavin Lichtenstein. Gavin is the director of digital partnerships for the governor. And what's Gavin saying here? Hey, Harry, it's Gavin with Governor Shapiro's team. Excited for tomorrow. I'm working on getting you an embargoed version of the script with bullet points so you can prepare. And it's funny because if I had been interviewing a government official and he sent me a text that said he was going to give me a script, I would question why I need one. But Harry's response is cool. Thanks. I'll give him credit because he did ask if it would be possible to ask some questions about our democracy. But if you actually watch the interview, which I have to say, sadly, I did for the sake of being able to make this video. Yeah, he never asked any of those questions. No, Harry stayed on script. And the funny thing is that Harry has denied that this has been set up by pallet management. He's tried to deny that he's been compensated to do this interview. But we know that's not true. This was all set up courtesy of Kevin Pham. 
who was Harry's talent manager at Pallet. And Sarah, being the outstanding investigative journalist she is, actually tried to clarify this with Harry. Asked him, did Pallet management handle your interview with Josh Shapiro? Was there a financial transaction between the two? Oh, and Harry saw the message. Gotta love read receipts. So thanks to Sarah, we now know that his entire interview with the governor was scripted. And it was scripted by the governor's team with bullet points. We also know that it was set up by Pallet management. Good job, Kevin. I've never known a talent agency to work for free. There was obviously financial compensation for this interview, but none of his videos about this point out that it's a paid partnership. Harry, do you know what they call doing paid political advertisements for a candidate and not disclosing that you're paid for it? Hey, little buddy, that's a crime. But hey, I guess liberal creators can commit crimes on this platform Thanks and not be punished very by Thanks very good TikTok. journalistic work, or rather investigative journalistic work. The whole thing's been exposed. Literal scripted content. Let's all take advice on how to think and who to vote for by the guy who's literally getting paid by the politician vying for power. What an absolute joke. This continues to expose how the cookie is made. When Donald Trump was president, it was a nonstop assault. It was 10,000 Jim Acostas versus Donald Trump, asking him not only hard-hitting questions, but constantly asking him gotchas, hitting him with fake news from anonymous sources. It was a, can't really call it journalistic, it was a complete fake news onslaught. But with Joe Biden, Democrat politicians, we see the same trend over and over again. They don't get asked hard questions. No, they get scripted questions, just like Hillary Clinton back in 2016. How she knew about all the debate questions before the debate actually happened. Was Trump given a heads up? No, of course not. And of course, just like we see with Joe Biden, constantly with his are all pre-screened, scripted, and he's told which journalists he's supposed to call on. It's all a fucking scam. It's all a mirage. It's all an illusion, constantly. Everything the Democrats do tends to be some sort of performance or some sort of act. Everything is carefully organized and choreographed, for fuck's sake. Even the Democrat president of the United States is a fake. He's not actually the president, no. He's simply the actor that is being puppeted along. They're all a bunch of fake, fake talking head puppets. The question is, are you enough of a puppet to fall for it, or do you know the ability to think for yourself? Or do you have the ability to think for yourself? Do you have the ability to see what is clearly obvious and what is clearly now proven? This is what Democrats do. The Democrats don't exist without their army of celebrities, without their army of TikTok influencers, and of course, the cavalry of lamestream media pundits. Joe Biden doesn't exist. Without billions of dollars being mobilized to prop him up, and it was the same thing with Hillary Clinton, and frankly, the same thing with Barack Obama. That's probably why they're so scared, because Donald Trump doesn't need to pay people to support him, isn't, ch isn't chasing after people like me, giving us big bucks to film scripted content with him. It's totally unnecessary when you're part of a grassroots movement, and obviously the Biden movement is anything but grassroots. Joe Biden, the DNC, has been thoroughly exposed. And Harry Sisson, after months of denying it all, has been exposed as a paid DNC actor, a paid DNC shill. Absolutely wild. Anyways, that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.